All right, and we are back. So I actually read 2, 4, and 2, 5 on my own time, but we're going to reread those, of course. Um, just to, like, speed things along with farming ego. So, from whence the world came. Let's reread it. You ask me once what this place is. Do you remember? This place is closed off from the outside world. It doesn't need a name. I believe that is how I answered you. Well, now I want to go. I thought I understood this place. I didn't question it for a fraction of a second. I didn't consider it for even a millisecond. Maybe it's strange of me to ask you this. But what do you think this place is for me? A place to rediscover who you truly are. A place to gain control over your impulses. Or a place where no one can bind you or where you can be yourself. And to be honest, I don't remember what I first chose. I just wanted to skim it gently so I can... Just because I had, like, impacts on how much ego I earned while I wasn't online. But... Hmm... I think it's a place where no one can bind you because... She's kind of talked about the facade in a way that makes me feel like she's been bound. Free, you mean? From the facade? From you? Am I really? I suppose I shouldn't overthink it. It's just I've been telling you. Your, inter your interpretation begets your story. And my interpretation interpretation begets mine. Yet, if that is so, then when you're not here, I'm, I'm, excuse me, I'm sometimes alone to think. And then, let's see, go. Alright, and then, uh, two, five, self-doubt, what am I? I've had time to think, but I'm even more confused. There's nothing here for me. Nothing. At all. Those books back there? I've read all of them. That was hilarious, really. Because I was utterly ignorant. For example, to whom do those books even belong? I don't know. I'm not even sure when I read them. When I read them. These memories I have of having have of having read all those books? Are they fantasies? Illusions I cooked up to hold on to my sanity? If that is true, then what do I have left? The only thing I have. You're the only unless you are just another of my delusions. It doesn't matter if you are. Your visits here with me are the only times that I feel stable. I feel like I can be myself. But when it comes down to it, I don't know. I... I... Use this word so unconsciously. What does it mean? What does it refer to? Oh, my body? Or perhaps... My thoughts? I have my body and in which half would I reside? If all the cells in my body swapped places, would myself just be an optical illusion? The same goes with thoughts. No. Those are even less certain. So how can I say for certain that my thoughts are my own? It's funny that she says that because there's kind of, I wouldn't say a debate, but in neuroscience, there's this concept of 
you not having free will, like your chemistry and your brain technically makes the decision before you even think about the decision. So it's kind of interesting to be like, if thoughts are, are the thoughts your own? Are your decisions your own? Like, are you really making them or is it, are we a slave to our own body chemistry or are we a slave to, you know, fate or what have you, whatever you believe in? Um, it's interesting how science kind of backs that up in a way that we're on a path. And at the end of the day, what say do we have in it when we walk it? It's an interesting concept. Um, but yeah, um, my thoughts belong to some other person I dreamt up. Yeah, I don't know about that one, but... Am I hallucinating? That thought to someone from a book I read are mine? If I am not my body or my thoughts, then am I actions? Am I defined by my relation to the world? If no one is here to perceive me, do I cease to exist? I don't know, if a tree falls in a forest, does, does it still make a sound if no one is around? Yeah, yeah, you, you exist still. Like, as soon as, I think as soon as you think of something, it exists. To someone. If that is true, I can only despair. Don't do that. Don't do that. Before, within this world, there was only the stone wall that denies me. With this world, as all I know, I may as well be dead. Who knows you're not? You might be. Yeah. I don't exist without someone here to perceive me. Where do I go? When you are not here. If I do not exist when you are not here with me, does that mean that you? Me? Or I am you? Or am I you? Beg of you. Give me the answer. Give me only one here. The only one who can answer me. What am I? Who are you? I do remember that. Who are you? Yes. Perhaps I am myself. And yet, I am not. Oh my. How much we have discussed. Yeah, but how badly I wanted to hear someone say it. I'm glad I asked you. It feels like just talking to someone to resolve the issue. Not that I've found any answers, but I do feel better. Therefore, I think I will dwell on the mystery of myself for a while longer. I have to stand and face these thoughts. Nothing good comes of avoidance. That's true. And then, like, there you go. And we are at two, six, sources telling of stories. This is another quiz part, and I am ready. Let's do it. I still don't like that angle. Can we just go back to the other angle, please? You know, I think we should change things up a bit. I did all the talking last time. Remember? Now it's your turn. Tell me all the fears you usually won't disclose. Talking to someone quite helps me. I'm sure it's important for you to put feelings into words, too. The more details you tell me, the better I can interpret them. Don't worry. Your secrets are safe here with me. And that'll be right, right? You'll keep my secrets. Right? What's said here stays here. I need to tell. So tell me. What's bothering you? God is in the details of every end of spare nothing. Your answer will be to find this game of another shared. Oh my gosh, do I type things out? What's bothering me? What's my fears? Um <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um 
Ooh, this might... Okay, 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 okay. So what has been bothering me is that recently I have changed my path dramatically. Um, a lot of stuff has happened, and I have had literally ditched almost everything I know and trying to restart. Um, so I'm kind of in a limbo. Um, kind of in this void where I'm not, I'm normally kind of ambitious and I go towards goals, but I've learned about myself that I go towards goals. But by the time I reached them, it was about the completion of the goal. It wasn't the goal itself that I wanted. So I didn't end up doing anything with it. Um, so I'm trying really, really hard to just kind of do my own thing like and go through projects and not really have a goal for for to work for for my ambition right now until I can figure out myself about what I really want for the future which is so hard to do I feel like that's good confide I'm a confessional you're you're definitely a strange priest you know I don't think they, they look from that angle but we did it we, we went to the confessional booth much harder than it seems to worry you the words. Yes, it is. You express yourself very well, Wayne. I bow in reverence. I'm impressed. Let me explain my take on things, then. Like, what is he really analyzing here? How would you... Who am I? <laughs> At a waypoint. Yeah, that, that's terrifying. Okay. Get the impression that you are still on your way. Little by little, throughout your ongoing journey, you will come to learn who you really are. If you simply don't trust me yet, then set your mind at ease. If I, I will never breathe a word of what you say to me anywhere else. I really do hope you'll find it in you to tell me exactly what you think or feel. Set your words straight. Your obvious conflict is who am I at a waypoint. Yeah, I guess that's the summary of things, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess so. How does it feel to get it off your chest? Better? Sharing your thoughts to another can help, to, can help to get them in order. That's how it was for me, anyway. I think. And twist an answer. If I could just come up with my own answer, I'll, I'll be alright. Come back. Um, I have to feel like grinding this, so I, yeah. 2 7 presentiment? A branching of the way. Ooh, okay. Conch uh, yeah, no, that's open it. I, I did what I need to do. You mean to go on, then? I, meanwhile, have been thinking non-stop about who I am. This endless thinking has raised a question. Am I not the only existence in this world? I think, therefore, I am. I'm right here. It could be any clearer than that. You, in that facade, too, are mere dreams. My dreams, because I, alone, am real. Ugh. You're coming this way. I'll be off then. Anyway, there are only... I'm the only one. Interesting. Okay, so it's pretty much like, those are catalyst of your decisions at the end of each. Am I clicking on this? I was a but Oh. Um, no, nah, not right now. Oh, the facade comes this way. That's why I heard the back of the hallway. We meet again, my lost child. Sounds angry now. I have been watching this choice you make. You are mistaken. You have failed. Diminished, I can only watch. There is no turning back. That itself. Is a choice to not object. 
When next we meet, the result will be in sight. Walk the road I'm bending. All right, sweet, I guess. Three, one, spiral, sentiment, and growth gene. Been waiting. I wanted to see you. I'm feeling quite good these days. The more I think on it, the more I come to think I'm right. That facade is nothing but hot air. And comes down to it. See? I'm the only one here in this world. This world, everything in it, it's all me. Even this facade, all me. You're a monster born on my guilty conscience. Even you must also be the second man of my dreams, aren't you? That I am. There's no way of knowing you're wrong. I mean, do we technically know? There's no way of knowing you're wrong. I feel like I'm doing- I learned that there's multiple endings to this game, so I feel like I'm doing things wrong. Am I a figment of her dreams? I feel- Mmm, mmm, I- I don't think so. I want- Are we- You're wrong. Oh, oops. Wrong one. Well, that one was my second one. More philosophy. You never tire, do you? Dream or not, I do enjoy your company. A precious dream. Your voices, your thoughts. Well done. There you go. Hmm? A personality test. Ah, yes. That's why you're here, after all. You wander about here, searching for yourself. Such is what drives you, my own, to a dream. There will be no more of that. Oh! Why should there? Is that just a farce? I am what I am. That's the only truth. What? Oh! A dance in print. thing but I can't read anymore my eyes scan the words but they don't reach my brain it's hard to believe I used to read as easily as I breathe now only keep turning pages out of boredom how could I have how could I how could this have happened how could this have happened I don't understand it if I really try to read as if the words are dancing around the page. All I see are letters, which have no meaning. Any, any contemplation of the meaning or attempt to combine the letters? I can forget the letters that I've tried to read. I can talk, as I am doing now, and my mind is buzzing. Words manifest in droves and then disappears. Like a meaningless, really sad exercise. Do you think I've gone a bit mad? It's the world that's mad. It beats me. You're just not realizing this. Oh my god. None of these answers seem correct. You're just not realizing this. I feel like that's so freaking harsh. Um, beats me, and then it's the world that's mad. Oh my god, I don't know, I don't know. These choices are so much harder than they were before. I feel like I could think myself through them. It's a world that's mad is like the kinder thing to say, but that doesn't make any sense to what she's doing right now. Like, oh no, I... I don't know. I want to be kind, but I don't think it's a world that's meant to be true, but not in existence. You're just not realizing this. I think that's what I have to say. I have to. I mean, it sounds so rough and awful, and. Hmm. Is that your best facade depression? 
Eight. Look at it. Eight. Earth. When I'm alone, I desperately to destroy. Can't suppress my impulses. Please don't kill me at the end of this. Even you, even now, I still want to relax. I will refrain. An enemy is enough. Oh, gosh. So is she going mad? 